Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video for you folks. So, you know, I want to talk about something uh, which is uh, very funny to me. You know, and uh, I, and I get this question a lot from people, from parents, from elders. You know, and from people you know who are new to fitness. What is that question? The typical question is that Tarun. What are the side effects of food supplements? You know, if I were to take an X product, what do you think can be, what do you think can go wrong? Tell me a worst case scenario. And I'm like, dude, why do you think about the negative first? There are no side effects to food supplements. It's like asking, uh, and, and, and usually most of the people, you know, uh, I've spoken to and talk about side effects are actually smokers and, 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 and they drink. So my question back to them is that, you know, when you smoke or when you drink, do you, did you ask anybody about the side effects or did you ask them that you know what will happen to my liver if I were to continue to drink alcohol or what will happen to my lungs if I were to continue to smoke but you still do it right you know but whatever the side effects of smoking or drinking uh, the, the, uh, compared to supplements or food supplement there's nothing and you still ask me those those, those kind of questions it's, it's very funny to me but in this video I'll be addressing those queries that you know what typically are the side effects of taking food supplements and when i say side effects guys you know i've tried pretty much every supplement you can think of you know i really you know keep trying out things you know uh, you know so the, fee, the the key supplements that we'll be talking about here are protein creatine glutamine bcaa's you know which are your amino acids and you know some pre workouts so because essentially the whole fitness industry comes under this category right or, or uh, gainers, you know, if, if, if I were to add that as well. So let's start. So let's start with whey protein. What are the side effects of whey protein? You know, so you, so you already know what exactly whey protein is. If you've been following my channel, I've actually done a couple of videos on what whey protein is and, you know, what are the benefits of whey protein, which are many, you know, uh, besides, you know, helping you, you know, pack on some muscles and recovery. It is great for both men and women, you know, after a post workout, which will help you with your whatever has happened in the gym with your wear and tear, it can help you repair those muscles. Now, let's talk about the side effects. So, let's say if you're new to whey protein, what could be the possible side effect of it? So, number one, one, the side effect that I had and the side effect that you know, our people I've worked with have had is pretty much diarrhea or upset stomach. This is like a worst case scenario and that is primarily because that you know uh, either you are lactose intolerant or the product is new you know obviously the body may take some time to get it adjusted or your body is a little too sensitive about that product but hey you know that diarrhea or that upset stomach usually that problem subsides after about a day or two when your body gets acclimatized or get used to that product if it doesn't chances of you changing that brand or probably switching to another brand uh, will be a better option rather than you know uh, getting to, uh, you know uh, developing that idea that hey whey protein doesn't suit me that's that's stupid so you can actually if, if whey protein doesn't suit you if you have an upset stomach hey what you can do is probably you can switch the brand the other myth that is revolving around food supplements especially whey protein is that you know people have asked me question around does it develop acne you know, I've been having whey protein and, you know, I've developed, uh, you know, uh, skin rashes, I've de developed boils, you know, uh, uh, is whey protein because is, is one of the reasons. So here's my answer to that, guys. You know, that usually doesn't happen. You know, it is not, whey protein is not linked with any skin disease whatsoever you can google it you can find out you know you know internet is is your oyster you can do a research around it but there hasn't been any case reported yet there could be far and few and far in between you know but exceptions are always there but exceptions don't make the rules um, they're there but no study as such or no side effects as such related to skin problems so that's actually a myth that could be because of your body reaction you know could be because of heat or could be because you know you eating something else and body is not kind of getting used to that it could be a body's reaction to that that's why you may have developed that because you know it's very easy to uh, uh, <laughs> to to criticize you know food supplements because i know many drinkers i know many smokers you know you know this smoke almost they smoke like a chimney and you know uh, i'll give you an example you know i have this friend of mine he smokes like 
anything like 15 20 cigs a day and you know so i gave him a protein powder i said you know he said tarun i'm looking out for a protein powder can you please help me out and stuff so i gave him like a, a very basic you know a universal way pro because that's the protein i started with it's very very basic uh, and you know the next morning he woke up you know he, he had his workout and you know you know he you know he drank his protein shake one sh- one scoop and then you know after his workout next morning he you know he complained that tarun i'm having uh, you know uh, uh, you know some heart burns I was like heart burns. Uh, uh, why? Uh, uh, he said, I don't know why. You know, I woke up this morning. I had two, three cigarettes, and I've started develop. I, I, I'm having these heart burns. Uh, is it because of protein? I said, Dude, you had three cigarettes in the morning, man. What about that? Point being that you know people always will say things, bad things about supplements, which actually is not true. So that is on the way protein said creatine now. Now creatine, uh, uh, people feel that you know uh, uh, you know it, it's a steroid or you know you know it 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 causes you know your hair thinning or it causes it's very harsh on your liver or it's very harsh on your kidneys. Same goes for whey protein. Actually, it's not, guys. You know, it's all piece of crap. It's all they're all myths, which which I'm here to bust. You know, creatine actually has no side effects. You know, you know again. you know uh, it is considered to be one of the most safest supplement you know both whey protein and creatine and i've done a video on it the only need to supplements to grow which is creatine before your workout and whey protein after your workout and you're sorted with a clean diet and a good training program so they actually have no side effects so if somebody is trying to tell you that you know hey what will happen to my liver or what will happen to my kidney you know my uric acid will go up if i were to take too much of protein guys it has nothing to do with it you know i really don't know where did this myth come about and and don't get me wrong you know uh, 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 if you were to consult a doctor or if you were to consult anybody they would have their own set of thoughts you know because obviously you know if you were to go to an indian doctor or any international doctor they would say hey whey protein should not be taken you should get your protein naturally this this is a processed food this is x this is why you should not take it and those are fat doctors yeah and you know anyway so they were not talking about doctors are actually by the way done a video on that as well that why i don't like to consult uh, doctors because they try to scare you man and which is not a good thing talking about glutamine bc double is guys these are amino acids you know our body makes it so probably you know probably there's the most safest thing that you can actually put in your body and you know what you should just not do not shy away from uh, uh, taking these things for a simple fact that guys they're natural you know uh, and and you know uh, you really don't have to worry about the side effects of it the only side effect that you really have to worry about in life when it comes to fitness lifestyle is about overtraining overtraining is something that you know what it it's 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 one of the biggest problems a problem worse than than and then any other side effect is the fact that you know when you you you're trained so much you've pushed your body so much that you don't feel like going to the gym you don't feel like training and you know you 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 hit a stage where you feel that the results are not coming in you're bored that's actually the worst side effect and that's the time when you should take a break but this video is not about overtraining i've also done a video on overtraining and i'll continue to do such videos for you to get some perspective but as far as supplements goes guys there are no linked side effects yes pre workouts may have some side effects you know uh, for a simple fact because you know you're using a lot of stimulants and stimulants do increase your heart rate and whenever your heart rate gets increased you bound your uh, your and when your heart rate goes up you bound to get some you know jitteriness you're bound to get some uh, uh, you know shaking but that's associated with pre workouts and every pre workout we work workout comes with that warning that do not exceed uh, a one dosage or or probably one scoop or two scoops but these days there are a lot of pre workouts which are available which does not have any caffeine in it so go for a pre workout which does not have any caffeine and you will not even get that shakiness or that jitteriness with any workout so guys this is exactly i hope this information comes in handy to you i hope anybody tries to tell you about food supplements and its side effects uh, you should just give it back to them say you know what I don't care about the side effects because everything has side effects. And if you take too much of roti, obviously, what do you get? You're gonna get upset stomach. If you drink too much of water, you'll be surprised if you were to Google it that you know drinking too much of water more than 15 liters can actually kill you. So anything done in excess can actually kill you and is actually bad for you. Food supplements, just one of them, but taken in moderation and taken with the recommended dosage, it has no side effects if you were to do things right. So I hope this thing gets into your head loud and clear. Any one of you who have any questions around food supplements, feel free to reach out to me either on. on my youtube facebook or on my instagram and yes a special message to indian parents guys uh, uh, if your kid wants to have whey protein let them have it because obviously you know it has no side effects it's not a steroid it's not a juice it's not something that you know your kid will get addicted to it's nothing humble request you know if they really ha- they are into culture in the in, in in fitness it will only help them so uh, that's it for now and, and i'll keep uploading such videos for you to get some more perspectives so until we meet again peace